<laughs> it's time for this creepy quest. Man, I can't do horror games no more. I don't know what happened. Back in the day, I could pop Dead Space 2 and run it. Now I can't get past tutorials. All call on our syndicate frequency. It's a red veil in code, but it seems truncated. I will play back what I have. Speak to us. No, don't speak to us. We're listening. Nope. What is your name? Good. You remember. We want to help you, Rel. Tell us where you are. Mm. Can't. He's listening. Who? Rel? Who is listening? Oh <laughs> god, he's in my ears. Oh, hell no! <laughs> Leave me alone! Sorry, operator. Chains of Haro. DE loves to creep me out, but this is a pretty important quest. Lotus sends us to Earth, where we're receiving a strange signal. Of course the lights are off. We find dead Grenier and a whole lot of blood smeared all over the ship. I see a winged feather. If it isn't my old friends, the Red Veil. You cast him out. A random Red Veil woman appears. Death by flames! We reach Iron Wake, where Paladino resides. She is a spiritual medium for Rel, the voice we've been hearing. He has left his vessel and has driven others mad in doing so. After her seance, we are tasked to obtain a relic. Revenant Prime is born! So at this point, things may get confusing if you don't understand the lore. So simply put, Margulis was the mommy milf for all the special Tenno children, except Rel, who was cast out by her. Lotus didn't know of him and barely believes Paladino. The Red Veil took him in to study his teachings. Tap, tap. The man in the wall. Rel continues whispering all around us and then says, The man in the wall. Or as we like to know him as, Wally. Wally will become prevalent as time goes on, so remember him. As I collect the Donda, Red Veil zombies attack me. I need a priest, dammit. Mm. No. Mine. Ah, motherfuckers, my ears. I fucking hate this mission. Tap. We head back to Iron Wake, where our spiritual medium used the Donda to connect with Rel. Shy? No, try again. This one? This is sad. Very good. We experience a little of his past, and well, he seems acoustic, or at least it's implied. Although different, he is still our Gandalf, as he's protecting us from Wally by putting himself in between. Lotus came up with an idea to capture Rel's manifestations, using Cephalon Samaris's kinetic siphons. We hunt Rel's manifestations. Luckily, I've played Phasmophobia, so this should be easy. Lotus thinks Rel is crazy as shit, and no man in the wall exists. How dare you, mother? She is correct with Rel being in a transference loop for too long, and doing that in the void, well, makes your mind degrade, I guess. Everyone wants to put the best boy down. I'm not killing Cujo, dammit. We enter the chamber in our true sacred form and begin breaking the chains that bind Rel's Warframe. As always, in Warframe fashion, something has to attack us. Luckily, with some skill and luck, I free my boy. I did it. Uh, did I free you? By sacred shadow and righteous blood, blessed Rel. Your aged vessel is dust and your chains are broken. Be free! Mm -hmm. But the man in the wall, who will? They will have to. All of them. They owe you this. Rao was protecting all of us from the void entity known as Wally, and we freed him from his duty, releasing him and his Warframe. Unluckily, now nothing is stopping Wally, and that will be our future burden. And just like that, we finish this quest, long and creepy, like Drake's snake. Can I not have peace in my ship? Is that so hard to ask? Tellurium farming, and we got four in ten minutes. Built vault for Eidolons, you know that's gonna happen. Fill the sculptures with Iotin and start saving them. So many items to collect, I mean truthfully, this is no different from the feeling of opening fresh Pokemon packs and getting me some great pulls. I start mass leveling everything. 
crafting everything so I can get more mastery rank. Fortuna ore farming is like a very much needed mindless break. I built a personal quarter segment to start advancing my quest. I'm doing a general run, luckily my teammates aren't fucking doo-doo. Getting carried basically. Run basically, here. yeah. Getting carried for ember pieces. I need a neural sensor, really? That's the one thing I fucking need. Ah, damn, I might as well farm the Alad V consistently, dude. Ember is cooking, and she will be great. I go try and farm Trinity, and that was awful. I don't know if I have it in me to continue. Into madness I descend, for my love is gone. Mantis Shrimp, Book of Pimpin' Shrimpin'. I feel like Mario jumping into a pipe. sentencing of Archimedean Margulis. You face the Jade Light, recant, and we will grant a merciful death. Are we getting the tea? My daughters, my sons, I want you to know my last thoughts are of you. for this moment. I forgive me. For what? I am not who you think I am. But of course you are. Imprisoned, just as she was. Yes, you know what time it is. It's time for the sacrifice. One of my favorite quests, and we get to do it together, my shrimp army. It's an experience like no other, mainly because during this time, people were freaking out about Excalibur Prime. Founders were being challenged by the new guard, told they were not special, and everyone deserves to purchase Excalibur Prime. In an effort to not only quell the American audience, DE created Excalibur Umbra and the Prime version, only available in China, I believe. It succeeded, and it all starts here. Just kidding, I'm blue balling you guys for today's sponsor, Blue Chew. Seriously, pop one of these and guys, you'll have an Excalibur Prime of your own. Blue Chew, it's a dream of mine. I have too many written scripts ready. If you're my fan, spread the word. We need more men to shrimps. I wasn't kidding though, guys. I was blue balling you. I had to inform you that we obtained more items and new Kubros. We drained my Necro Cyst and even put Mag's pull on him to create the ultimate greedy farmer. I love Necro so much that I bought an Orican Reactor for a non-primed frame. He's just that good. Here's my shitty build for now. I got some credits and finally turned in some new Loka standing. Mods, give me mods. Lotus is whispering in my ear. 
Ah, oh, a Max Calumbra. The introduction to Excalibur Umbra. Man, you cannot imagine just how dope this was. Imagine getting our first ever Umbra Warframe, and not only was it an OG, but my boy got some goddamn drip, son. Straight up thugnificent. That motherfucker got a cape. A cape! You know how pimp you gotta be to rock a cape? We head to Earth, where I'll be honest, I forget ghouls exist in this game. As we traverse through the tile set, we reach the exact spot where Excalibur Umbra faced Ballas. We had to take some scans. We explore Lua next and deal with the puzzle that I somehow figured out. I'm far from smart and my Oonga Boonga brain just moved things till it worked. We find a tablet known as Vitruvium, containing information of Warframe weaknesses, voiced by our favorite Margulis Simp. Ordis would rather it destroyed, but when have we ever listened to him? We force Ordis to take the red pill and he becomes emotionless and downright creepy. New Ordis tells us to check the foundry and we can now build Excalibur Umbra. Unfortunately, this Warframe ain't fucking around. He grabs my bitch ass out of thin air and stares me down with his good eye. Slams me in the wall and whispers, I'm feeling romantical. I'll be honest, I didn't know if I could stop him, but I managed to enter his memories. We get a glimpse of who Umbra was, a Dax soldier now laying in his bed riddled with some incapacitating disease. His son to his right and a simp to his left. Forced to play Komi, this reminds me of Hunter x Hunter, if you know, you know. We followed Umbra in his rampage and Voidsling right into him. Ballas threatens the Dax soldier and it's revealed that he managed to figure out Ballas' betrayal. After Extract, we unlock another memory and learn to battle Mighty Hun Hao. The creation of Warframes came about by using humans and infested hybrids converted by the helmet. We cultured the infestation, conceiving of a hybrid, transformed but only just. The Helminth was created, born to yield these new warriors, worthy of battle against you, the great and terrible Hun Hao. Ballas said their failures and were sent to the void. Ordis is back and telling us we can suffer harm from accessing these memories. We don't listen. Umbra ain't playing. My man swinging like Max vs. Gaethje in UFC 300, ending with a brutal KO. Mainly me getting ragdolled the whole game. After an intense battle and near-death experience, I managed to get in. Back to my deathbed. Wait, no, I mean the Dax deathbed. The simp lost his waifu, he went balls out on the betrayal, and to take some anger out he decided to imprint a memory in Umbra to relive countless times as he turns into a Warframe. He's gonna kill my son! God damn it! Oh, right, these are memories. <gasps> He's gonna kill him. Who's going to what? Ballas! He's going to kill my... his... son, Isa. I tried fighting Umbra in my operator form, and well, the game took so much pity on me it decided to make me Umbra, to fight Umbra. Huh? What? What happened? The memory was Umbra turning into a Warframe and killing his son, Isa, doomed to relive it day after day. In an effort to comfort Umbra, we extended our hand when no one else would. It was that somehow, from within the derelict 
horror. They have learned a way to be inside an ugly, broken thing. And to take away its pain. Wrath has been chosen! Oh, Ballas! I'm coming for your bitch ass, and I got a friend. Hold up, I got cocky with the mastery test. This actually is bad. I mean, really, really bad. Okay, now I'm actually pissed off. So me and Umbra have many reasons to want to kick Ballas' ass. We fought these little sentients, and I was stopped by Ballas. Damn, you just got shanked. I created you. Damn, you got even more shanked. You are. I, I am just the stone. She is the hand. Where is she? Where is the lotus? Oh God, what have they done to you, Lotus? I am here, Tenno. What? What have they done to you? Nothing. This is what I am. Mother took a fart and launched herself to space with Ballas. The sacrifice has been completed. Umber mods have also been obtained. I'm never done, am I? I'm taken to some orc and tile set and get attacked by Lotus Shadow Children. It's a me, Mario! Ballas has become a fusion of sentient and human, a disgusting combination, as you see his leg have a little leg hanging. His ass cheeks are split open, not even sure if they poop. I have to jump around to avoid the Medusa gaze as he builds a sword. Upon its completion, I take it from him. <laughs> ah, you, you, G, L, Y, you ugly. The Chimera prologue is done as well. If you made it this far, just know so much has been done in a few days. We're growing stronger and the shrimps are spreading. I feel alive. Seriously, everyone, thank you for the support. I might mess around all the time, but it means the world to me knowing I can do fun content and people will watch. Stay tuned and as always, comment, like, and subscribe. The shrimp is out.